Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find um, the vendors that has a ACH or wire payment method but doesn't have banking data. Okay, so it's very, it, it's, you might say it may sound stupid but it happens a lot where the vendor has been created and has a payment method of wire or ACH but they haven't mentioned or we haven't mentioned the banking details so in this way the vendor will get post the invoice will get posted but will never get cleared because there is no banking data so how we can find it so first we go to sqvi okay and again whatever i am building in sqvi you can do the same in sc16h okay so here what i will do say get suppose get bank okay uh, so i'll just click create okay and here i will say get vendors that are not having bank data okay so how you can find it i'll do a table join i click table join and i'll click the green arrow okay now what i'll do is i'll first select lfa1 which is the vendor details okay now in lfa1 you will not get this uh, payment method and all those things i am doing this so that i can get the name okay of the vendor also okay to make it full proof okay now i go to lfb1 okay and here you can see lfb1 is there now here after that i will do lfbk okay so the moment i do lfbk okay here you can see the banking details are coming so what i'll do is i'll take this I'll remove this extra uh, joining condition and with this current joining condition I'll put left outer join okay the moment I do this I will get all the vendors that are not having banking data for a certain payment method now I'll go hit the back button and and now I'll select what I want in the output so I'll go to Lifnar I'll got name one okay and if i go here i'll select this and now i'll select bookers also so i'll select bookers uh, which is the company code and now i'll select the payment method also z wells okay so i select z wells which is the payment method okay now if you want i can put the payment terms also and now after that i'll try to find the bank details so i will get it from lfbk so i'll just do a find here and i can find banks okay so here i will just select this bank number all these things and i'll put it in this output so the list fields are the output now in the selection screen is the place where it would be the selection criteria so i'll put just for here vendor number suppose okay and for sure I'll put payment method. So payment method is Z Wells. Okay, that's the technical name. And here I'll select this. Okay, and now I'll hit the save button. The moment I hit save button, okay, and I'll select the green arrow now. Okay, now I'll click on execute. Now here, so what I'll do is list of payment methods I have done right. So i'll take what is the payment method i was checking that have wire and all those things so if i see t suppose i select t okay payment method is t okay and i'll execute the moment i execute i'll get all the vendors that have payment method t but if you notice these doesn't have any banking so this this is a vendor that has payment method t and doesn't have any banking so if i just do uh ascending on this i'll find find all the vendors that is having a payment method but that demands a bank account but doesn't have the bank account maintained in the system so this is very important and this is like an exception report and later on you can ask the vendor to give them the to, to give them the give you the banking details and you can update your uh, vendor master tables